PowerPoint is an extremely effective tool to make presentations. However, some of the functions that are recurring, so that we use very often, require a lot of click every time we need to use them. That means that we waste a lot of time. Imagine, few functions that we use many times that require a lot of clicks equals a lot of time wasted. That's why we use the Quick Access Toolbar. What is the Quick Access Toolbar? The Quick Access Toolbar is a, a preset of custom buttons that you can highlight just below the ribbon or eventually above the ribbon. Now, the Quick Access Toolbar by default is set up above the ribbon. You will find it here. But the reason why I prefer to have it below the ribbon is because it's closer to the working area and therefore it reduces and optimizes the mouse runs. Which buttons do you want to include in the Quick Access Toolbar? My recommendation is include all the buttons that you use most often and require most clicks to be reached. For example, one of the functions that I like to use are the um, alignments and the distributions. You see, I can, I can align and distribute everything in just a few clicks. Or bring to front, send to back, flip. These are all buttons that I like to have in my quick access toolbar. Everyone has his own setup. I will make sure to share my own setup for you in the comments of this video. How do we set up the quick access toolbar to customize your PowerPoint? It's very easy. Technically speaking, you can use this little arrow here, which if you have the quick access toolbar above the ribbon will be here. And set and click more comments. Now from here, ensure you select all comments and now you will see in the left box all the comments from PowerPoint. You want one and you want to add it to your quick access toolbar, nothing easier. You select the button, you click add, you order where you need it, you hit OK, and there you go. The button is here. If you don't like it, you remove it. Another quick way to add buttons to the Quick Access Toolbar is just right click, add the button to the Quick Access Toolbar. So you can add them straight away from the ribbon or you can enter from Files, Options, Quick Access Toolbar. And there you go. Another trick is to use this checkbox to show your Quick Access Toolbar below your ribbon. Again, remember below the ribbon is a smart idea because it's closer to the working area. Sometimes it might appear that the Quick Access Toolbar is not active, or not, at least not all the buttons are active, and this is because you have no object selected. As long as you select one object, all the buttons where you can apply these functions will be highlighted and ready to be clicked. One last important thing is you can export your Quick Access Toolbar as a file straight away for example, I will save it on my desktop. There it is. Do not double click it because Windows won't be able to open the file. However, if you open your PowerPoint and you go through the Quick Access Toolbar and you import the customization file, you will be able to import any preset straight away in a click. So get my preset, import it, and you will inherit my Quick Access Toolbar. It will be available in your PowerPoint. I wish you more productive presentations, make the best use of the Quick Access Toolbar and let me know how it goes. Ciao!